Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy, your independent sensei consultant with Happily Scented Homes. And I'm back today to share with you guys a brand new haul for an upcoming limited time collection offered by Scentsy. Um, in May, we are going to be having a mental health awareness collection that Sensei has launched. Um, we as consultants were able to get early access to the fragrances only, but it is a jam-packed collection. It's very similar to like the breast cancer awareness collection that we did in October, where during the month of May, any purchases from this collection, a portion is going to go to a charity or nonprofit organization that deals with mental health awareness and things like that. Um, so I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I'm glad that they're doing more than just like breast cancer or, um, their like normal charitable cause, um, warmer that they do every catalog. Um, so it's nice to see them branch out in the different charities that they want to doing, doing, donate, donate to, um, but I don't know. I feel like it could be a touchy subject for some people and, it could be seen as like tacky or like since he's trying to cash in and make money off of these individuals that really struggle with mental home illness and all of that. So I don't know. I'm kind of like torn between the two sides, but I am excited to at least smell the fragrances. Cause I mean, I'm always up for a new fragrance and honestly, they've been really, killing it lately with the limited time collections there seems to be like at least one in each of the collections that i've been really liking um i haven't found like definite club worthy bars yet i mean there's like one or two that are like club contenders um but this collection in particular is like screaming me um, it's mental health awareness so a lot of the fragrances that are in this collection are like botanical they're very spa-like, calm, rejuvenating. Like, they're meant to be subtle, calming, like, bedroom scents, which I'm all for. So I'm very intrigued to see what they smell like. Um, so we'll talk about the collection just a little bit because the only thing that I have is the bars. I don't have anything else from the collection. And I'll try to put photos here of the items that are in the collection as I'm talking about them. So... Everything that we're talking about this in this video is not available to purchase publicly until May 1st. So we will be having a four wax bar bundle in this little giftable box by Scentsy. Um, you can purchase this for $24. So it's basically $6 a bar. And you are going to get the four scents in here, which are Blue Lavender and Bergamot. Rosemary and Mint, Lemon and Mandarin, and Chamomile and Vanilla. So you'll get all four of those bars for $24 in the giftable box. Now you can go ahead and also purchase the Blue, Lavender, and Bergamot. This fragrance will also be available in a room spray the water-based room spray for $11. It will also be available in our diffusing oil for $14. And then they are doing a body bundle where you can get an actual body cream, which is discontinued. We no longer have body cream, but they will offer this scent in body cream along with the Scentsy soap. So it will be bundled those two products for $34. Um, so that's pretty neat that they're bringing back two retired products um, from the body care line into this collection. And then also there will be a Truman the Terrier weighted Scentsy Bunny um, that will be $45. It's 18 inches long, about three and a quarter pound. Um, so it's just like a weighted, you know, stuffed animal. So that's the collection in a gist. And 
from May 1st to May 31st, that's when the promotional period will be available so that any donations off these purchases will be brought to the charity. You will not be able to club any four of these fragrances until that promotional period is over. So starting June 1st is when you'll be able to actually club these. You can purchase them as much as you want during the month of May, but you won't be able to club any of them until June 1st. So hopefully that makes sense. All right, so let's get into it, what we're here for, for sniffs. So going off the scent descriptions, I'm going to rank what I think I'm going to like the most to least, and then we'll see how I do once I sniff them. So I really do think I am going to love the blue lavender and bergamot. I feel like this is going to be like the closest new manly fragrance we have until we see what the father's collection, you know, has coming. So I really think I'm going to like it. Um, I I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's alongside the same lines as Blue Sage and Tonka, but we'll find out. But I've been really, really liking lavender scents. I've gotten a new appreciation for them. Um, I warmed a crap ton of the French lavender um, this winter with very snowy spruce. So I really think I'm going to like that one. Oh, I hate regular Pepsi. I hate it. My daughter drank all my diet Pepsi. And mind you, I only bought like a six pack for myself for the week. And she literally drank my last two while I was away having dinner with friends today. So we've got this to kind of give me a fix for tonight. Okay. So yeah, so I think this is going to be my favorite. Next favorite, just based on like my scent preferences, lemon mandarin. I'm sorry, lemon and mandarin. So I think that's going to be my second favorite. And then I think chamomile and vanilla, oops, chamomile and vanilla might be my third favorite. And then rosemary and mint. Only because I'm not sure how this rosemary is going to go. Like, is it going to be like a cooking rosemary? Is it going to be like extremely herbal? Like, where are we going here? All right. So that's my order right there from what I think I'm going to like the most to the least. So we'll, we'll start with the least first. We'll, we'll make this interesting. Okay. So rosemary and mint. Fun fact, we had a rosemary mint before with Sunsea. It didn't have the Ayang symbol in, in the name. It was just rosemary mint. And from what I remember on that bar, it had tea tree oil in it, rosemary, and like eucalyptus mint or something like that. Cannot remember what it smelled like, but it definitely had a high like dose of like the tea, the tea tree oil. Um, but this has an and symbol. So I'm not sure what the difference is going to be. Rosemary and mint is a rush of fresh garden mint invigorates rosemary oil and eucalyptus. Kind of scared about the eucalyptus, but we shall see. And I really have been hating how lately, I don't know if you can see right here. For some reason, it's just these two top corners that there's like a little bit of wax residue when you pop the warm, like the wax out. Like, I don't know what's up with that. Okay. Mm, I got some thoughts on this one. Okay, so the rosemary, it's not a cooking rosemary. And it's not even like an herbal rosemary. It's definitely like a rosemary, like essential oil. The garden mint, it's like a sprig of garden mint, but it's more of like an herbal green. What I'm getting from the mint. Now, is that garden mint somewhat similar to mint fields? I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say so because for me in mint fields, the spearmint and the peppermint and the garden mint that's kind of like in that bar, they all have like a touch of sweetness to it and like freshness. So this doesn't have any sweet in it whatsoever. The eucalyptus in here though, 
is not overpowering. It's not giving like a menthol vibe, like in Just Breathe. You know how that one's like straight menthol eucalyptus. This this is not getting that at all. It just kind of like it gives a coolness to the bar. Kind of clears your nostrils just a little bit. Not as much as Just Breathe does, but this definitely has that. I'm actually liking this, you guys, which is so freaking weird because I honestly thought I was going to hate this one. But I could see myself warming this. And it's subtle. I mean, it doesn't smell like it's going to be strong or anything like that. It might be like a medium performer, light plus. But I feel like this would be really great for your bedroom, your bathroom, the office. Very, very uplifting. If you like red cedar and sage, I think this rosemary and mint is like the spring summertime version of red cedar and sage. Which is so weird that I actually like this because I couldn't, I couldn't deal with red cedar and sage. Not that it was like a bad scent, like a gross scent or anything like that. It was just way too sharp and strong for me. This one's a lot more mellow. And like I said, it's like a springtime version of red cedar and sage. The rosemary is very essential oil. The garden mint is very fresh, green, and herbal. And the eucalyptus just brings like an icy coolness to the bar. I'm actually really digging that. That That's very surprising. So definitely impressed with that one. Chamomile and vanilla. Now, I did not like chamomile petals, which was last April's, um, April 2023, the scent of the month for that month. I did not like chamomile petals. I think it was because of the apple and the jasmine and the chamomile. It just wasn't working for me. Um, but this one is chamomile flower and sheer vanilla share a meditative moment of calm. All right, let's see. I don't know how I feel about this one. I definitely smell chamomile, but it's coming off of like chamomile tea than it is a chamomile flower. Like I'm really not getting any flower notes in here. No floral, no powderiness, no heaviness. Not even like a sweet floral. I'm getting like chamomile tea. And I do get a little bit of vanilla, but it's coming off more cream. Like it's just blending the bar. There's got to be another scent note. Like it can't just be chamomile flower and sheer vanilla. There's something else in here. There's got to be like amber or something in here. It's nice for what it is. We don't get very many chamomile scents. It is... I do like this a lot better than chamomile petals. So I will say that. I feel like the people that like vanilla, the people that like very vanilla are definitely going to like this chamomile vanilla because it is on that lighter, more subtle side. And I feel like if you are not a floral person, this chamomile is not reading floral at all. So this could be a scent that you would be able to, to do this spring. So not bad, but it's not like my thing, but I do like this scent better than chamomile petals. So, all right. Next, lemon and mandarin. Again, they must have stocked up on lemon oil or there was a huge sale and that's all they can get their hands on because everything has lemon. Everything, which I'm not mad about. I love citrus, but can, can we do like another lime or, or grapefruit? Bring back Persian lime and sandalwood, please. <laughs> okay, so lemon mandarin, lemon and mandarin is a citrus infusion of Meyer lemon mandarin. Lightens the mood with a hint of lime. So we've got lime, we've got Meyer lemon, and we've got mandarin. So three citruses all in one bar. Okay. All right. So, hmm. I definitely can pick up the lemon, the lime, and the mandarin. The mandarin is the same mandarin note that was in Mandarin Zest. 
and mandarin moon if you removed all the spice out of that bar. So definitely that same mandarin note that Sensi is known for. The lemon in here, it's not a sweet lemon. It's not a cleaner lemon. I'm actually getting, this is weird. I'm getting like a lemon tea with this. This is so weird. It's coming off like a black, like infused tea that has like lemon and lime and orange like infused in it like a sweet tea, but like an unsweetened tea. That's so weird. I'm getting like a black tea note with this. Hmm. The lime, the lime note is not sweet and it's not even like a fresh lime. It's a very tangy rind lime very much like the lime note that's in cucumber and lime if anybody remembers what that one smells like it was from a bring back my bar promotion a couple years ago yeah i can i can definitely pick up all three scent notes like i can pick up the lemon i can pick up the mandarin i can pick up the lime i'm getting a black tea note in here it smells like it's going to be medium performer it's probably going to be like a day with all this citrus. It's probably not going to last more than 24 hours. I'm not mad about it. It's just this black tea note is like really intriguing me. It's like an unsweetened tea that has like lemon slices and lime slices and orange slices, like all like infused in it. That's what I'm getting. It's not bad. Not what I was expecting though. I was expecting like an uber, like pungent lime and mandarin, like combination. This definitely threw me for a loop. So two that have like completely shocked me so far, but none so far are horrible. The Mac Daddy, Blue Lavender and Bergamot. I have high hopes. I really hope Sensi does not disappoint me. Blue lavender and bergamot is lavender. Bergamot and a touch of eucalyptus encourage rejuvenation with every breath. So we've got lavender, we've got bergamot, and we've got eucalyptus. Oh, what the f Okay, so this is nothing like blue sage and fanca. This is nothing like I expected. Oh, I don't like it. Okay, the lavender in here is very herbal. Very herbal lavender. I'm getting the eucalyptus, but the eucalyptus, it's not the same eucalyptus note that's in rosemary and mint. This is a completely different eucalyptus note. It's almost like the eucalyptus that's in eucalyptus wreath. And the bergamot, it's not reading citrus. So the bergamot is not reading citrus and it's not even reading cologne. It's just like, I don't know. It's just like bringing like a complex note to the fragrance where it could lean masculine or feminine, but it's not like, it's not like cologne bergamot. It's giving it like a manly polish, <laughs> but it's not cologne. I don't like how what the lavender and the eucalyptus is doing. I don't even think it's the bergamot that's really turning my nose. I think it's the lavender and the eucalyptus. Yeah, because I smell the lavender and the lavender, it's it's herbal. It's an herbal lavender like you get with French lavender, which is nice. It's this eucalyptus. I don't like what it's doing with the lavender. It's not mixing well. On cold, I am not for this bar. And that sucks because it's available in that body bundle and a room spray and a diffusing oil. So obviously Sensi must have had a focus group on this collection. And this must have been the most popular scent that the focus group like 
liked. So they put all their, you know, eggs in a basket and said, okay, we're going to offer everything in this fragrance and hope and pray. I don't know. I think, I really think they probably should have offered it another fragrance, to be honest. No. Okay. This is really, really sad. So what I thought I liked the most before sniffing these, I actually liked the least. So my least favorite in this collection is Blue Lavender and Bergamot. Um, honestly, I don't even know what to compare it to because I was really thinking it was going to be like the new version of Blue Sage and Hanka, but it really isn't. And you can't even compare it to French Lavender because French Lavender is just what it is. It's just an herbal lavender. There's nothing else to read about it or say. It's just lavender. And there's really nothing that, that I can think of that this reminds me of from previous Scentsy fragrances. I just don't like what the eucalyptus and the lavender are doing in this bar blending together. It might be a completely different bar and warm. You have no idea until you try. But at least on cold first impressions, I thought I was going to love this one the most. I ended up liking it the least. So... Blue, Lavender, and Bergamot is my least favorite. Next, for second least favorite, I would have to say the Lemon and Mandarin. I, I'd have to say, and it's not my second least favorite because it's a bad scent. It's just not what I was expecting, so I think that's why I'm a little bit disappointed. But the black tea note in here is very intriguing. And I'm really curious to see how this is going to warm. But on, on first impressions, it would be my second least in the collection. My second favorite in the collection would be the chamomile vanilla. I actually really like the way that this went. I do like it a lot better than the chamomile and petals that we previously had. There's just something about this one that's unique that we really don't see with Scentsy. And I think that kind of helps with its ranking anyway. But I do think it's gonna be the lightest one out of all four of these. But it is my second favorite on cold. And my most favorite on colds was my least favorite based on scent description, Rosemary and Mint. I'm actually really liking this one. Yeah, I feel like this could be a good mixer. I feel like this with French Lavender, oh, that's gonna be nice. Yeah, I, I already have like a couple different like mixed combinations that I'm thinking of right now with this one. But this is definitely the spring version of Red Cedar and Sage. So that's my favorite right now. We'll see how these warm. I'm going to warm them um, probably over like the next week or so. Um, The collection doesn't drop till May. So I technically have the rest of this month to take my time warming these um, to give them a thorough review. So as soon as I do... I will go ahead and pop on and share that with you guys and see if my ranking has changed at all um, for, after I warm them. So thanks for watching. And if you are watching in the comment section, if you've had a chance to get your hands on the early access kit, um, what has been your favorite so far on first sniffs? If you've had a chance to warm them, I love to hear your thoughts. What has your experience been? And which one of these was the most intriguing for you? Like what threw you for a loop? Because honestly, the black tea note that I'm getting in the lemon and mandarin threw me for a loop and then rosemary and mint all together threw me for a loop. So love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Talk to you in my next one. Bye.